We were called in by the city of Warwick for a failed sewer outside the Cedar Swamp pump station. It's a 48 inch reinforced concrete sewer pipe that collapsed and the silt from the area filled their wet well and spoiled their pumps so that they wouldn't work at all. This station services 13,500 homes with an average daily flow of 2.5 million gallons per day. Most of the emergency projects that we become involved with have a huge health issue significance tied to them. The major concern was flooding the neighborhood's basements. From the time we received a phone call to the time we arrived on site it was roughly about 45 minutes. Once we recognized the problem they had, we met in a conference room and organized a strategic plan as to how we were going to approach the project. We pride ourselves on very good communications between the owner and ourselves and trying to find the most cost-effective means of being able to tackle their emergency and save the money wherever we can. There was a river that was next to the excavation where we had to go down about 28 feet, and there was a hill on the other side that had, which we did not know, an aquifer going through it. So it required us to put in double-staged well points, 50-foot wells, 20 horsepower pumps, and then after we had everything completed and we were digging down inside the coffer dam, we had to put in four 40-foot wells to take the water pressure off. We're moving somewhere around 4 million gallons of water a day, and that's really unheard of in an emergency project. We encountered all the old sheeting. We had to drive around that, make a series of small boxes with the sheeting and dewatering in there. It's a very tough site. The high wet condition is just incredible. And this project, we came in without any information on the as-built conditions of the sewer because the city had lost all their documents in the flooding from last spring. So it's been a learning process as we investigated the failure here. In some ways, the project had to be rebuilt. The team we brought to the Warwick Emergency Project was a combination of ourselves, a geotechnical engineering firm that we work with, one of our civil engineers that were on site with us, and obviously our workforce. There's a lot of good contacts. People that are experts in dewatering have been on site constantly. I'm in constant contact with Joe Brito. He's on site all the time. He's been here for 15 hour days. His guys are always here. His staffing mans the pump manifolding around the clock, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Not a problem, they've been great. Anything that Joe has said that he would have has been here immediately. He has a phone stuck to his ear 24 seven, I believe he sleeps with the thing. City of Warwick recognized the second or third day into this emergency project that we knew what we were doing and we were there watching out for their best interests. I think our workforce is really second to none on the emergency side. Not only are they well trained, they're well dedicated. You don't hear one person say, that's not my job or I can't do that. Everyone works as one team on an emergency project to get it done to the satisfaction of the owner, to the safety considerations of this company, and to maintain any health risks we can for the community at large. Although he's getting keyed, he's taking it personally like it's a job that he needs to get done, which is great. It's good to have somebody like that on our team.